All right, so I'm gonna put this puppy back with its litter mates, and now we're gonna work with Winter's puppies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it up, just like we showed you before. You see how calm it is for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna put it on its back. This one really doesn't like it, so it's gonna fight it a little bit and you want it to get used to being in positions it doesn't like. And then we're gonna go upside down. And then we're gonna put its paws again. On the cold. This is just a block that I freeze and we do this every day. Just for 10 seconds. Let's see how this puppy is used to this. So the only thing this puppy really didn't like was being on its back, which is very common for this age. By the time they are three weeks old and we're not doing this any longer, they will all be pretty used to doing that. And what we're trying to do is we just want uh, puppies to go home feeling um, very secure with new environments. And this is all part of that socialization, early socialization. And other than doing this each day with the puppies, and as you can see, I'm calming it. Maybe on the back you can't tell, but I'm rubbing it, letting it know it's okay, that this is okay. And we're gonna put it upside down. And they do wiggle and that's okay. We just want it to get used to uncomfortable positions. And just so you know, they make this noise even um, when they're just um, with their mom. When their mom is doing something they don't like or they're not close enough to their mom. So this is just sounds that puppies make. And this one doesn't like being on its back. But within a couple weeks, it won't have a problem with it anymore. As you can see, it's calming down. It hears my voice. It's getting used to hearing me. And then we're going to put its paws on the ice pack. Just like that. And then I do also play with their paws a little bit like this. For the rest of their life, they're going to need to be groomed. We're going to be cutting their um, little toe, well, paw nails here um, at about four weeks is the first time we do that. So you wanna have them get used to you just um, handling their paws. So it makes that uh, easier to do. And then also for their, their forever families to be able to clip their paws and to work with them. Later on, after three weeks, we um, will introduce um, some different sounds and um, uh, different, um, yeah, noises that are common that often older puppies are scared of. Um, but if you uh, teach them early that it's okay to hear sounds that are loud or um, kind of sudden and it startles them, that they can recover from them. And then you have an adult dog that isn't fearful of say firecrackers or the vacuum or um, not firecrackers, fireworks and um, loud uh, cars that pass by. You just wanna get them. So as you can see, this puppy is completely calm now and it's actually in that upward position. Um, so I always, after I do it, I get them back to a calm position before we're done. So I will continue to do this with um, Winter's other uh, seven puppies. And then we'll um, get their weight as well. And then Mama will nurse them and we'll repeat it again tomorrow. All right, hopefully this will help you if you are a breeder or if you're looking to get a golden retriever. Um, some things to uh, see if your breeder does uh, to make sure that um, they are producing um, the best puppies possible. All right, thanks for watching.